Hello, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos uploading. Today is a decoupage day. I've got several little projects to show you. They make adorable ornaments and great gifts. Let's get started. Okay, our first stop is Target. This is that little section in the front of the store that I always love to check out. And I got really distracted by these super cute Christmas trees and especially the mercury glass ones, which I did end up picking some up for decor. But what I had my eye on was these cute little jars. I picked some up and had a plan to decoupage the tops. So here I go. I needed to paint a coat of white paint on them first so that the decoupage image shows up well. Drying them here and I'm using DIY Paints White Swan on these. DIY Paint Liquid Patina is also a decoupage medium. So I put a fairly generous coat And for these, I'm just using some really cute Christmas napkins. If you do decoupage with napkins, be sure to use only the top layer. So there's usually one or two white liner layers that you need to peel off first. So I did that. This is just the top layer. I put another coat of DIY liquid patina on top and smoothed out the wrinkles and then gently tore around so that only the top of the lid was covered. I then took some white paint that I had used DIY paint frosting in you only need about a quarter teaspoon of this thickening agent to one ounce of paint. So I did that and I let it sit up a few hours and used it around the edge to look textured, a little bit like snow, and then took some of the DIY making powder called Silver Lining and added a little sparkle to the edge. Here you can see I had a little mess up on the black part of the decoupage paper, so I'm using a Sharpie just to take care of that, and it worked. Doing the same thing with the next napkin, same process. Next, it's time to hit the thrift store and look for some vintage frames. I found several metal vintage frames that would work perfectly for my next project. My plan is to decoupage directly onto the cardboard pieces inside of these frames. On this one, I decided to just use the paper board that was part of the stand to the back of the frame. I'm gonna paint it white. It's a 18 pound tissue paper that I'm gonna be using and I want to make sure that the background will highlight the Santa image as well. To me. You can purchase this decoupage paper and all the other products I'm using here today on my website, mamabearblue.com. I'm using the DIY paint liquid patina and using the same process I used in the last project. I like to gently smooth out the wrinkles starting from the center and working out being careful not to tear the paper. It's normal to be left with a few wrinkles in your project, and usually after it dries, those will flatten out. And I decided to put a light coat of the DIY paint copper patina called Pennies from Heaven onto the frame. Next up are these wooden ornaments from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use the same process and decoupage the Santa paper directly onto them. But of course it's not true. They say Santa ain't coming around. Trust me, I'm waiting up Now I'm back to using the paint frosting and I put a thick coat around the edges of these ornaments and then I use some of the DIY making powder called Silver Lining to add the sparkles. Okay, here's our final project for today and this one turned out to be my favorite. I took a vintage hymnal that I had found at a thrift store that was kind of falling apart. 
I chose some pieces and decoupaged them directly onto these wood slices. As you can see, I didn't paint it white first here because the paper is fairly thick and I wasn't worried about the image not showing up well. I tore off the excess around the edges. As you'll see here in a minute, I'm gonna use some 220 grit sandpaper to distress those edges and remove more of those paper edges hanging over. Then it was time for DIY paint clear wax followed by dark wax. The dark wax will give a bit of an aged look. These are little greenery tins that I found last season and I'm just adding some rope around the top as decoration. I thought they would make a cute option for sitting on top of these wood slices, maybe even on top of some candlesticks. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know if you try out any of these little decoupage projects. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.